guys and welcome to Bailey's Academy Online. In today's video we're going to be covering tasting espresso techniques. Sensory evaluation is a very important skill that every barista can have. And this video is going to take you through some of the language and jargon around that. We're going to cover what makes a good espresso, a little bit around the term extraction and some tips and tricks and when and how to taste your espresso. If this is the first video you've come across, I highly recommend going back and watching the previous one in the series where we cover our critical steps and grind adjustments. So let's get started. So guys, what makes a good espresso? A good espresso is defined as having the taste balance of acidity, sweetness and bitterness. When we stick to our coffee recipe guys, we're careful to keep track of our dose, yield and extraction time. And when we stick to these recipe fundamentals, we'll be creating a good, balanced shot of espresso. A balanced shot of espresso is defined as having the even distribution of these taste qualities, acidity, sweetness and bitterness. When combined, they complement each other and create a rich espresso experience. It can almost be described like a taste journey, with an exciting start, a sweet middle and a pleasing, lingering aftertaste. In barista terms, guys, we also describe this as an even extraction. Even extraction, guys, simply put, is the process of dissolving our dry coffee dose using hot water. Unfortunately, though, not all of what our coffee has to offer can be described as tasting good or even balanced. In the barista world, we used percentages to describe this. 30% of our coffee can be dissolved, but like I said, it couldn't be described as good or even tasting. The Speciality Coffee Association Gold Cup Ratio recommends an extraction of 18 to 22% be de to be described as even or balanced tasting. Let's go through some of the other types of extraction as well though. Under extraction guys is when we haven't taken enough of our soluble content from our dry coffee dose. How we would describe this through taste is by a short, sharp, sour espresso that has no finish for aftertaste. Under extraction occurs, guys, for a few different reasons, ranging from channeling, too much coffee in our basket or for our coffee's recipe, or overly coarse grind size. Anything that has the potential to disrupt the flow of water through our coffee bed, guys, can lead to under extracted flavor notes. Even extraction is when we have taken the right amount of soluble content from our dry coffee dose to create a rich, even taste experience. How we would recognize this through taste is through a rich, smooth espresso that has a pleasing acidity in the beginning, a sweet middle, and a pleasing, lingering aftertaste with some bitterness. How we create and maintain our balanced shot of espresso, guys, is by checking our recipe throughout the day and making adjustments as needed. Over extraction, guys, if you hadn't guessed already, is when we take too much of that soluble content from our dry coffee dose. So we extract our acidity, our sweetness, but we add way too much bitterness on top of that for it to be described as balanced or even tasting. How we would recognize this through taste, guys, is we'll have elements of a rich, smooth espresso, but with an overly heightened level of bitterness in the end that leaves a rough astringency on our tongue. Over extraction can occur for many reasons as well. This can range from not enough coffee in our basket or for our coffee's recipe, overly frying grind size, or too much water coming from our group head. Recognizing these taste characteristics, guys, is very beneficial in maintaining your espresso recipe throughout the day. So guys, let's cover some tips and tricks of how and when to taste your espresso. One, know your coffee's recipe. Communicate with your coffee supplier training or head barista for the most up-to-date information. Sometimes your recipe or coffee may change, so don't be afraid to ask if there has been any changes made. Two, always pour your espresso into a warm cup. Using a cold cup to serve your espresso, guys, will cool your espresso rapidly and will create a negative, bitter taste experience. Three, always use a teaspoon to mix your espresso before trying. Each layer of extraction when prepared, guys, is slightly less dense than the one before. So to make sure that we are correctly tasting the espresso, we must stir it thoroughly with our teaspoon. Four, stir, don't swirl. Swirling our espresso cup 
to mix our espresso guys sometimes isn't enough to ensure an even mixing of the liquid and may not achieve a consistent result like when using a teaspoon. So keep your teaspoons at the ready. Five, know when to taste your espresso. When setting up your grinder for the day, try not to fatigue your taste buds by trying every single shot. Set your espresso to your recommended recipe and then try tasting it. If it's not your recipe, don't waste your time or taste buds. Six, stay hydrated. Water is your best friend, guys. Sometimes throughout the day, we can be guilty of drinking our fair share of espresso. So staying hydrated will keep you from becoming over-caffeinated and will also rinse your mouth out between each shot. So guys, hopefully we've learned a little bit more about tasting our espresso today. With a little time and patience, you'll be able to discern these taste characteristics with no problem at all. Keep an eye out for any future videos in this series where we'll be going into these topics in a little more detail. Thanks for joining us today. See you soon.